there are two attributes of god that are responsible for producing faith in the believer faith that works faith that moves mountains are you ready number one his integrity his integrity his integrity his integrity numbers 23 and verse 19 numbers 23 and verse 19 god is not a man that he should lie neither the son of man that he should repent read with me had he said and shall he not do it or had he spoken and shall he not make it good that means this is the reason why you can trust god that the moment he says a thing then expect that there will be a performance the moment he speaks a thing there will be a doing connected to it are we together genesis 21 from verse 1 and 2 genesis 21 from verse 1 and 2 we are examining the integrity of god as one of the platforms for producing bible faith and the lord visited sarah as he had said and the lord did unto sarah as he had spoken verse 2 it says for sarah conceived and bare abraham a son in his old age at the set time of which god had spoken to him Hebrews chapter 11 and verse 6. Hebrews chapter 11 and verse 6. But without faith, please look up, it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to God must believe that he exists. The word he is there means he exists. And then that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Say hallelujah that means when we seek him we don't seek him in vain he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him his integrity the word integrity is very important because it comes from the word integer sameness consistency predictability as within so without that is the the essence of the word integrity god has integrity are we together yes tomorrow is valentine <sighs> i'm just informing you And um, there are people who because of the reality of the burden that the season demands can go so far to invent all kinds of skills to lie and say I'm in Lagos whereas they are here or all kinds of things they don't have to be evil they are men they do not have integrity are we together for, it's just an example don't harass anybody <laughs> don't tempt me to say anything about valentine i intend to just let it lie there praise god integrity we live in a world today where people have made all kinds of promises is that true and have not been able to keep it and if we are to be honest with ourselves all of us at one point or the other have been victims of this there is something you once said that you probably did not do not because you did not want to do it probably you told a family i am coming to visit you and your flights did not leave on time it does not matter what the excuse is with respect to that performance it is still not a show of integrity but the bible says god is not a man that he should lie nor the son of man that he should repent do you know what that means when god is determined 
to say or do something concerning your life you can take that word that means listen most times we speak you know one of the principles of integrity is the second one that i'm going to talk about they are interconnected you must check your ability before you speak is one of the principles of integrity if i stand and i'm motivated and i go somewhere where there is a building project and they are looking for 10 billion for the building project and i'm excited because of how they clap for me and i just stand there irrationally speaking like many people do and i say on behalf of myself and koinonia we donate four billion naira you'll be looking at me while i'm talking <laughs> believing i know what i'm saying are we together and i now go back and the organizers call and say we thank you so much so uh, how is the transfer going to be made is it going to be just a single transfer we are happy for this and i said don't worry uh now i begin to think how will i make this thing happen you see i may be sincere but it is not integrity i'm explaining something to you so you understand god does not speak and go back biting his finger to say i said too much no if god looks at you and says this year you must rise that word listen listen there are no guarantees in life honestly believe me when i tell you this god will send you to do things and he will send you to places that don't have any human guarantee the guarantee is the word he gave you and the person who gave you that word when god told me to come to abuja here there was no, nobody signed any form to say you just come we'll support you no god said it i trust you we die there you see that listen this is the character of faith most people do not know god will never tell you what you can do he will never tell you what is possible before your eyes god will speak to you like he's speaking to himself in fact one of the ways you can verify it is god speaking is that it must be a mountain bigger than you if god tells you something that is so easy within your reach go back to bed and pray again you had a demon not god listen god will speak to you as a kingdom financier and while you have just five ten million in your account home and abroad god is going to be saying write the list of mission agencies that you are going to be building houses for them and you are writing and feeling stupid that you are hearing god you regret pressing into clarity of hearing because now you don't have an excuse to say it's not god you are hearing and you write out over 30 40 50 mission agencies and god says a time will come soon when you will be giving them at least a million dollars every year and while you are writing there you are laughing at yourself your wife comes to check what you're writing you cover it because you know that if she sees that thing hear me you are writing it knowing that the one who speaks does not have a future there is nothing like future with god so he's not waiting to see he has already listen if god speaks every mechanism to be put in place to make sure that word comes to pass if you understand his ways is already there one of the ways you know that your season is ready is when god speaks god does not speak when things are not ready i've taught you this maybe not in abuja I hope that we'll have the time to discuss it to know that the voice of silence is the voice of god too when god is not talking he's saying something you need to understand the language of silence are we together there are many of us right now who have plans and goals and visions that from a human standpoint when you look at it as a january god told you you will celebrate christmas in your own house this is february already you are laughing because the investment you were hoping will work you've not heard from them and it looks like what you are hearing is not very the bank is not the bank is not cooperating with you 
when he said that you said amen because someone was going to buy a property under your care and you were hoping 10 percent from buyer and seller will come you see the thing about god is god speaks in a way that nothing around you nothing around you will attempt to replace him if there is something that he can ease that can easily take his place he will not speak i know what i'm saying no his integrity now listen how are you sure that i don't have some money in my pocket maybe i have something maybe a hundred dollars a hundred naira something in my pocket if i say come and collect it and you are you are looking at the signs to check whether is there any shape of money or whatever it is that's already unbelief because you will not get anything that way remember what james said let that man not think he will get anything from god i'm just giving you an example all right if i tell you come leave your job let me make it serious leave your job leave everything and come to me here and i will give you something from this pocket now that can build you a house buy you a car and sort you for the rest of your life it's just an example if i ask you come let me give you something you eat with today it makes sense because notes are usually flat and small but i say leave your job come and stand and let me put my hand in this flat pocket and give you something that you will use for the rest of your life you will most likely not believe it but that is the character of faith before you focus on what god is saying focus on who is talking are we together see god is mighty I, i'm praying for you that every unbelief that makes you believe god is small every unbelief that makes you think god is a joker or he's praying april fool with you i pray that it will live your life now in the name of jesus christ I have seen God do things in this small life I have seen God move in ways that no human explanation would suffice I have seen God do things in my life I have seen God do things in this ministry that at the time he said it it did not make sense but total dependence on his word ah. God is speaking to you tonight. He has told you many things that don't look impossible. That, or that don't look possible. I want you to stand and trust him. He's told you, mother, that before you go to be with the Lord, you will see God lift your children. And as it is, none of them seems to be showing any signs of a visionary life. I want you to trust that word and trust the one speaking. I have searched and searched all the earth searched and searched all the earth and found that babu wanika marka i have searched and searched all the earth searched and searched all the earth and found that babu wanika marka yeah. Babu wani kamarka Ya Yesu Babu wani kamarka Babu wani kamarka Ya Yesu Babu wani kamarka Lord I have searched and searched all the earth searched and searched all the earth and found that listen i was in cameroon last year when this song came it was in the morning i was meditating on the faithfulness of god on this subject of faith this is the first time we're singing it here i'm sure soon this my people will find a way and sing it 
I was meditating on everything God began to tell me. Usually I travel and I travel with my notebooks. Notebooks of 10, 15 years. And I open those rough notebooks and I see some of the things. And usually when I write what God said, I put dates. And I'm looking at some of those things. And I said, ah, that was when this song came. That I've searched and searched. Let me tell you this. Never laughed at a man that God has spoken to. You will bite your fingers in shame for the rest of your life. You may see a woman now. You may see mama now. You may see that preacher. Two members. Know nothing. If God has spoken, I want you to clear the way. Because you are about to write another epistle of God's wonder and faithfulness. There are some of you seated here the call of god is upon your life you are still in your season of training don't be intimidated by the enormity of the call don't ask where the money will come from don't ask where the anointing will come from but i know whom i have believed and i am persuaded that he is able god has integrity god has integrity god has integrity he can be depended upon listen to me time will fail me to tell you things that God said would happen in my life would happen in this ministry that made no sense whatsoever as at the time he said it Bible faith is not just based on a verse of scripture it's based on a recognition many people have disappointed you in your life they've said things i will help you i will give you a job come by january or february you are used to disappointments and you have added god in the list when god speaks he his voice is sounding to you like that politician who deceived you his voice is sounding to you like no the king of the universe has integrity This is the reason why we can tell the whole world come and hear his counsel as he has given us and we know they will hear because he asked them to hear can i tell you this many of you are unable to move in your life god has told you that house will be built but you are sitting and wondering all of the connections you think will help you build the house have failed and you are sitting there saying god will you do it can i tell you this there is something about believing god even when you don't understand him let your mind catch up later on but for now i believe you shake away that unbelief shake away that unbelief you are not the first to be a millionaire you are not the first for god to lift you are not the first person god is speaking to the bible is full of men and women who god spoke to them ask abraham gideon was hiding in judges chapter 6 hiding when god met him and told him he said why are you hiding gideon and he said why wouldn't i hide where are the miracles come out of that place of hiding you are going to defeat the Midianites the Bible says Gideon blew a trumpet and 30,000 people came God said it's too much this is not how I walk reduce them so that the glory there, there is something I want to do for some of you God has spoken to you you are the breadwinner in your family a family of over 20 people and god is saying you will feed them as if you are buying recharge card and it does not make sense because you are saying god i didn't even go to school and god is saying can you trust me there are some of you help those under the anointing there are some of you god sent to abuja here you go to abuja with only one ghana must go you are still roaming around wondering i don't know why i'm here if god sent you sit back and watch the monarch of the universe begin to honor your life and honor your obedience commanding the supernatural the integrity of god i have searched and searched all the earth searched and searched 
all the earth and found a Babu Wale The one who speaks and does it. The one who speaks and has the ability to defend what he has said. Businessman, don't sit down and use your bank balance to determine whether this year will be a great year or not. Take your eyes away from those accounting things and look at Jesus. Jesus told you that this year is your year of marvelous light. Believe it. See, listen, 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 listen. As simple as what I'm teaching you is, you will recycle years of stagnation if you cannot believe God. You want to know how to believe God? Study children. Study children. We have some of our little ones here. If I call these children now, in the midst of this fiery service, I call them and say, Junior, how are you? fine what do you want aeroplane you hear what the boy is saying i asked him what i wanted he's not going to say lollipop children don't say those things again we were the ones who said those things these children said aeroplane and they mean it they don't mean the type we used to say aeroplane and then you stand there feeling guilty for asking aeroplane and that child will come back with confidence and remind you daddy or uncle or whatever where is my aeroplane you were the only one who thought he was playing in his mind and in his world he believed that for you to have spoken you would have vetted your ability to provide it so when god speaks to you and says man of god from where you are the nations will be hearing your voice don't sit down and say i think i have one auntie in canada there is one uncle who loves me you've already disconnected yourself that is the reason why most times god allows everything we depend on to fail then you come to him and say god are you still saying what you said he said i have not changed you are the only one who was going around looking for my word somewhere else i have not changed when i said i will lift you i meant it when i said i will honor you i meant it i hope god is working your heart tonight so that you believe god there are no guarantees in life anybody that gives you any promise of any guarantees only joking at every point of every man's life there are hours he's asleep and at that time is only the god of the universe who gives life men have promised and were not able to live up to their promise there were people who said in two weeks i will give you an appointment not knowing by the next day they were going to transfer them but who transfers god who relocates him who moves him to another branch are we together right where you are standing in one minute lay your hands on your head and cause unbelief lord i'm sorry for not depending on you for not trusting you please follow carefully just do what i'm asking you to do pray and decree and declare his integrity god can be trusted god can be trusted god can be trusted The healer can be trusted. The lifter can be trusted. The blesser can be trusted. The announcer can be trusted. The one who empowers can be trusted. The deliverer can be trusted. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you very much. Say his ability. That's the next thing. Please sit down two attributes of god number one is his integrity his ability to be consistent and stay consistent with what he has said number two his ability bible faith is built on the awareness of god's ability his ability
second chronicles chapter 20 let's read from verse 6 very quickly please second chronicles i tell you there is a build up of fire in this place second chronicles 20 let's start from verse 6 and said O lord our god god of our fathers art thou not god in heaven thou rulest not thou over the kingdoms of the heathen and in thy hand is there not power and might so that none is able to withstand you we're reading to verse 9 art thou not our god who did drive out the inhabitants of this land before thy people israel and gave it to the seed of abraham thy friend forever and they that dwell therein and have built thee a sanctuary there for thy name saying verse 9 now the last verse if when evil cometh upon us as the sword judgment or pestilence or famine we stand before this house and in your presence for thy name is in this house and cry unto thee in our affliction then thou will hear and help he was talking about a, a display of the might and the power of god in second peter chapter one when we read from verse two to four popular scripture second peter one two to four second peter one one two to four grace and peace be multiplied unto you through the knowledge of god and of jesus our lord verse three according as his divine power say his divine power his ability he says his divine power has given unto us all things that pertain unto life and godliness through the knowledge of him that has called us to glory and virtue verse 4 whereby are given unto us exceeding great and precious promises that by these we might be the partakers of his divine nature having escaped the corruption that is in the world through lost his divine power ephesians 3 and verse 20 now unto him that is there are people who are willing but are not able it takes more than integrity to perform you can have the willingness but do you have the ability i want to give you the job but i do not have access you need both integrity and ability he is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we ask or think according to the power that worketh in us listen to me if you can rest your faith on the integrity of god and on his ability do you know what i remember i think it was during the crusade in my village day one or day two i can't remember which of the days now that we had over in december there was someone who was seated somewhere in front i think the person could not walk or something like that and i stood there and all of a sudden i heard in my voice to tell that person to stand up and walk do you know listen i'm a human being too my father and my mother they are both alive you think i you, i want to be embarrassed and just come and disgrace myself in the presence of the whole world no it takes something more than what your optical eyes is seeing how do you tell someone who most likely has gone to the hospital and met consultants and is unable to walk and you look at that person and with one command in the presence of people you don't send a quiet text message and say try to move your leg and let me know let me let me know whether the thing is working many of you have been in positions where someone was mandated to believe you and you felt the pain of not being believed is that true for instance you tell someone sit down here i'll arrange a meal for you and you return back to find out that the person was trying to make an extra arrangement because the person was not sure and you look at yourself and say do i look like someone who will come and waste my time lying to you you see that's an example 
of the pain in the heart of God when we do not trust him when God says I'm going to lift you and you say God um, let me give you a few information that you don't know one I'm in Nigeria two I'm not sure you are aware of what Nigeria is going through right now number three are you aware that the family that I come from it will take deliverance first before prayer or breakthrough and the rest because of the kind of yokes that are there and then he's listening to you while you are praying and then you wrap it up by saying in Jesus name amen and God says look at what this person is saying the Holy Ghost now leads you to the Bible to open it and see the many things that he did can I be honest with you the things you read in this scripture were not parables they actually happened that he parted the Red Sea it actually happened the Sun stood still it actually happened John chapter 20 the last verse many miracles the Bible says did Jesus in the presence of his disciples Jesus did not do a few miracles many miracles give us the last verse what will be the last verse now is it verse 20 or 31 let's do 30 and 31 many miracles Jesus did or many other signs he did in the presence of his disciples which were not recorded in this book 31 he says but these are written that ye might believe that Jesus is the Christ the Son of God and that believing ye might have life through his name listen to me say after me in the name of Jesus I believe the Lord I believe his promises over my life because he is a God of integrity and he has all ability now you are manifesting Bible faith there is a justification for fear except that when your fear collides with these twofold realities the integrity of God and the ability of God one time the father of I think an epileptic patient came to Jesus and said that if you are willing you can help my son Jesus said I am willing see that and then he manifested his power and the son was healed there are people who have ability but they do not have integrity there are others who have integrity but they do not have ability the one who can really help is the one who has both integrity and ability you doubt whether God has ability look at what God is doing through our lives it will take an unwise person to not see that this is the ability of God men cannot do this there are results that are outside of the range of men it will take the power of the Holy Ghost the ability of the Spirit is someone learning now so for whatever it is that God has told you remember back in his word is his integrity and his ability so we can believe him that he tells you this year 2022 will not be like any other year in your life and yet you read everything in the news and you see that it is negative and negative all through and the devil now tells you you better don't fool yourself don't create any expectation because it will not happen i'm speaking to you tonight by the spirit the god that we're talking about is the god of integrity and the god of ability when you find what he has said from scripture when you find what he tells you in your personal place of prayer you have found the forces that engage his integrity and engage his ability i've had the privilege of helping many people in my life and i say this with all humility and to the glory of god and sometimes people come to me especially maybe children or something seeking maybe help school fees or whatever it is and many times as i look at them i'm already wrapped up with compassion and i'm looking at them and i'm asking myself already what do i do to help this child and then you see them come and they say please we don't know if you can help our child and the school fees maybe something as little as 20 30 or fifty thousand. and i look at them and i'm happy because i have the ability 
it is painful to have integrity and not have ability and you stand looking at this poor child with tears holding a good result but no opportunity for continuity because the wherewithal is not there and how many of you have been before a situation where you know it is within your power to solve it that restfulness and that confidence god will never scratch his head over your issues no there is nothing you will ever go through that will make god say wow this is interesting gabriel and the rest are, are you aware of this your situation will never be as bad as that of job your situation will not never be as bad as the saints samaria where women were eating their children have you eaten your child have you considered it then the famine is not that bad and yet in one day by this time tomorrow literally by this time tomorrow not not a prophetic tomorrow a real timeline tomorrow and things just change like that let me stand by the spirit and speak to someone that in the name of jesus by this time tomorrow by this time tomorrow what you wrote on your prayer request by this time tomorrow what you prayed over this morning what you discussed with your husband by this time tomorrow over the issue of that job by this time tomorrow in the name of jesus christ please sit down it takes integrity and it takes ability some of you by reason of this teaching tonight i'm going to be sharing with you a few principles now we'll pray you may have to return back home tonight and get down on your knees and say lord i'm sorry i i, I have allowed the circumstances around my life to blind my eyes to make me think that you are not there for me i have allowed circumstances in my life i've allowed things around me to make me feel you are less powerful than you are but listen to me god is almighty he is not just mighty your situation notwithstanding do you believe this about god god does not do april fool god does not play games with people when he looks at you and says i am lifting you find rest he will many things god has spoken to us about that does not make sense right now make sure you don't throw that piece of paper it was you and him that wrote that keep it and watch the wonder working power of god are you blessed now you see the reason why many people's faith does not work because their faith is not based their, their faith is based on nothing permit me to call it a fired faith that is not standing not backed up and supported by anything i believe god based on what i just believe god don't ask me that question i believe you can't get results that way why do you believe him if they ask you now why do you believe that god will do it for you now you have an answer because he's a god of integrity and because he's a god of ability yes he's a god of ability he knows where to draw destiny helpers and financial pillars to come and stand by you yes sir a dear pastor friend i think a year or two maybe three years ago he called me one day and he said apostle he said you have to pray for me and we're joking very nice wonderful friend and he said something happened a man called me from somewhere and asked and said they told me you are close to 
apostle joshua selma and he said yes he said i want to send so 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 amount to you help me and give him and the man sat down there on that call and he said i won't lie to you apostle the thing paid me how can this man know that i'm also a man of god and call me and find out and say do you know apostle he has protocol he has people he has a finance department and you now call me as a man of god and then ask me to give you my account number let you wire money and say help me and give him and it's not like you even say okay this part is for you take it and we laughed over it it was so funny but then when i was done with that call i just thought about it i said my god if it means him using a fish it will look for you from wherever a fish has no business can the teeth of a fish bite coin but not when god wants to get it to you he is that powerful if it means for a donkey to talk ah, no shadow you will light up mountain you will climb up coming after me no wall you will kick down why you will feel it out coming after me no shadow you will light up no mountain you will climb up coming after me no wall you will kick down why you will tear down coming after me listen up